My name is Will Stelter. I'm a bladesmith from Bozeman, Montana, and we're here to forge tomahawks. I heard about Warwood Tool a couple of years ago. It's one of the last forge shops of its kind in the world. I've wanted to come here for a long time, and this is an awesome event to be able to attend. Being able to attend the 170th anniversary of anything is very special, and to be able to be in a place that has this kind of history of forging is just unbelievable. I'm Jackson Rumble. I'm from Australia, Canberra, Australia. Uh, I'm a master smith with the ABS, uh, so I'm a full-time knife maker, and uh, today we're making tomahawks. When I was 18, uh, there was a local blacksmith in my town who read classes, and uh, yeah, for my birthday, mum was like, go do a two-day course with this guy and it changed my life. I've been knife making and blacksmithing for about 10 years. I started watching videos about it when I was 14. Started off with a, a little grinder in my parents' garage and it's all downhill from there. I've been doing it full time for seven years now and it's just a ton of fun. The community, all the different aspects of it, the tools, the different processes we get to do, it's all just a great time. I think like it still shocks me that you know when, when we take it to our shop as raw material, and how we can manipulate it into something incredible. Anything we can dream up, I find that amazing still. You know, like, I, quite often I'm, I hold my finished piece and I'm still kind of shocked that I made it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a really cool feeling. Blacksmithing is an incredibly captivating craft, not only visually, but it's also just, it's a ton of fun. And all of the different aspects of it, the blacksmithing community, the, the tools that we get to use, Warwood is a great, uh, a great example of that. A lot of their tools are over 100 years old. There's just an infinite number of different rabbit holes that you can go down. And, and so blacksmithing captures a lot of really ADHD and kind of unemployable people, uh, just because there's so many different things that you can focus on. As soon as you get kind of tired or bored in one area, you can switch routes and go uh, dig down something else that, you know, still in the same realm, but it's completely different and so interesting. Basically, uh, Will Stelter, who, who you know, uh, he just uh, called me up one day and said, hey, we got this thing going on. This is Warwood Tools. They sent me a, a video of the workshop and they said they want us to make tomahawks. And I said, well, I've never made a tomahawk, but I can try it. We, we came in yesterday when uh, the crew was forging and it was just awesome to see. You know, uh, I think they've got something really special here. Like I've never been to a shop like this. I've never seen it working. And I just really hope that they can keep going and, and it sounds like they've got some big plans to do some new things. So I love what they're doing. Just, just keep it up. I've only made a couple tomahawks in the past and working in an unfamiliar shop is always gonna be a challenge, especially for this sort of thing. But the Coal Iron Works Press and the Power Hammers should make this process pretty doable. It's kind of hard to say what the strategy is going to be once we're in there without knowing exactly what everything is going to be like. Everything's so nuanced when you're doing this sort of process. But the things that I look for as a bladesmith, I want to make sure that my edge geometry is going to be good. I want it to be able to go through wood. I want it to be able to go through meat and bones. Uh, and then I want everything to be straight on it. I want the eye of the tomahawk to be in line with the blade and the hammer pull on the back. I want the edge of the tomahawk to be in line with the handle. And those are all things that I won't say that blacksmiths don't really pay attention to, but it's usually more the people in the bladesmithing realm that are really kind of focused on making sure that things are straight and square. So those are the things that are more important to me. I wanna make sure that there's no cracks or uh, really sharp transitions. Those are a place that a tomahawk could crack under a lot of stress. And so I wanna make sure that it's strong with soft curves. I wanna make sure it's gonna be functional and ergonomic. I don't want the head to be too long or too wide or anything like that. I want everything to be uh, functional and kind of neat and tidy looking on the tomahawk head.